Hi, so you want to know how to tie a bow tie? Well just a couple of months ago I was in exactly the same position as you are right now. I couldn't tie a bow tie and I was watching video after video trying to figure it out. And now I finally got it. I realised that those videos that I watched actually glossed over or completely missed out two critical steps in tying a bow tie. So I wanted to make this video to make sure you're clear on every step including the step that most people get stuck on. So if you've struggled and you've not been able to tie a bow tie that you can be proud of, I'm going to get you to do it step by step. And in fact it's going to be five steps. So a bit of advice, watch the video through first without following along. Um, it'll just make sure you're clear on what's, hap what's going to be happening next, um, if you've got time that is. And also, uh, if, you, if you're stuck there with your, your arms bent like that, they tend to get sore, at least mine do, but that could be just me. First important thing though is that you'll need a mirror. It's absolutely important, critical in fact, that you, you do it in front of a mirror because otherwise it's so much more difficult. So, on to step one. Okay, so the first step is about length. This is actually a step that most videos that I saw actually skipped completely. But I, I think it's pretty important because there's three things. One is, if it's too short, it won't tie a bow tie at all. It will be really messy and uh, you'll be wondering what's going on. So we need to make sure that the length is, is right for that reason. Second thing is that it actually has an impact on how the bow looks. As you can see, mine's quite narrow and I like it like that, so it's narrower than my glasses. Uh, but you can make it wider uh, just by making the uh, the length longer. And the third thing is that you need to make sure that when the uh, when when you do the tie, it's going to cross over the the narrow parts. So let me. Uh, this is where I have to undo my hard work. Okay. So you can see I have actually tied it. So what I'm talking about here is that it must these two the, the narrow bands here must be able to cross over by the net. And this one's quite narrow. Um, sorry, it, it will turn out quite a narrow bow. So I'm going to make this a little bit longer just by adjusting this. It's the adjusting it. So I'm going to have a slightly wider bow when I come to the end, but it will be uh, a bit easier to, to tie. So, so that's, that's the length on me. Sort of, um, say one, two, three, Maybe third button down, just um, just as a little guide. Uh, so that's actually the end of the first step. So on to step two. Okay, step two is the first knot. Okay, so uh, you've adjusted the length and now you need to tie the first knot. So what we're going to do is place the, the and obviously kind of everything is reversed. So. Um, this is my right hand and this is my left. So, And also as I'm shooting this I'm going to be looking to my right because uh, it's like looking in the mirror, I can see the, uh, the preview. So that's why I'm looking over there. So what you want to do is get the right hand side and move it up by pulling the other side, pulling the left side and get it up to your collar button up here. So you want to get, I'm going to refer to these as kind of fishes because they're like the fish bodies. So you want the tip of the fish's head up against your um, collar button and you want to take the left side, go over the right and then underneath like this to tie a regular knot and you're going to pull that up to tighten it. And you want to make sure that it's tight because if you don't have it tight it's not going to tie properly later on. So what you should have now is uh, one fish's body hanging down with a little bit of the uh, well, the tip of the fish's head right up against the collar button, and that is step two. So this is step three, and this is actually forming the bow. So what you want to do is get your right index finger and place it in, in the kind of widest part of the, of the fish's body, and and then you want to bring it up over to the right hand side. So what you're doing is just kind of creating this effect here and you want to get your left hand 
and uh, put your thumb behind and your index finger in front. So this is, this is kind of pushing up against the collar button here. So you want your thumb behind. Let me do that again. So <clears throat> finger behind the middle part, um, and you're going to fold like that and put it over. And your right, uh, sorry, left hand is <coughs> holding the other side with your thumb behind the middle part of this bow and the index finger in front. You want to pull that up uh, tight. And then you want to bring down this one from over here. And that is actually step three. Okay, so we're at step four, which is the first of the most critical steps and one that I found most difficult because no one kind of, uh, in the videos that I watched, went through it very um, clearly. So, so you've got this bow, uh, you've got your thumb behind this bow that you formed and you've got this tail coming over the top and you want to make sure that that's tight. Uh, so make sure that your uh, your bow is kind of tight. Uh, so what you'll be doing is, is uh, with your right hand, your index finger, is coming, kind of gathering it up and, and coming over the top here. I'm looking into the screen because uh, I, I can see myself. So what you want to do? Here's my my thumb is it, um, sticking out here. So if I was to deconstruct this, I've got the bow here this part coming down and my thumb is just over the top and what you want to do is pull this around with your finger here and just find your thumb with with your with your index finger and just push in on top of it okay so go and do that again tighten that bring that down go around here and find the end of your thumb and I found it and I'm going to push through and it's going to come through this other side look so I'm pushing through and you can see that it's coming through here, yeah? So at the front, I've got this, and I've pushed through over the top of the, of the loop, and now I've got what you call an untidy bow. Now at this stage, you, you might think, I, I've made a complete and utter mess of this and start again, but don't give up yet. This is step four. And uh, if you've got something like this where you you pull the loop through, uh, so you've got a, a loop on this side, and that's that one here, and a loop on this side here that you've pushed through, then then you're, you're halfway there, and we're actually near the end now. So let's go on to step five, the second critical step. Okay, so step five, and this is the second most critical step. And a lot of times people give up at this stage. They get a bow and it doesn't look good at all. So, but there is magic that's going to happen. Um, so what, what first of all we want to do is make sure that this loop is fully the way through. So the bit that you push through, just make sure that that is actually um, coming through properly. So just pull it through and hold the kind of the back flap on the other side, just so, so you don't lose it. But just pull it and then sort of flatten it out, put your finger through and now you've got a better bow but the knot's a bit, it's a bit too thick. So to tighten it up what you want to do is put your, your fingers through the loops and just making sure you're not you're not losing losing a flap on either side. Just make sure that this flap is actually level with the back of the other side of the loop, or this this right hand side. And then with your fingers through, just um, pull on the back of the right hand loop, just this the back side of the loop. And on the on the left hand side, pull the front of the loop. So what you're going to do is. Uh, end up with a, uh, a tighter knot. Let's keep going. So the back of the right hand side and the the front this, this the front loop uh, on the left and you can see that that's tightening up. So at this stage, let's see how we're getting on. 
Um, I'm just looking in the mirror here myself. So at, at this stage, I like to pull down the uh, shirt collar just to see where we are, this will give us a bit more of an idea. So I want to level it out a bit. This side is a, a bit larger than the other side, so I'm going to pull the front flap across and and then I'm going to tighten the back again. So I'm going to put my finger through the loop and I'm going to pull on the front of it to tighten the knot again. And then I'm going to I'm going to pull on, on the both of the loops like that. So I'm just looking in the mirror. Yeah. Just want to make sure that it's quite, it's actually quite difficult to do without looking in the mirror. That's why in the in the in one of the first parts you need to make sure that uh, that you're looking in the mirror. So that should be it. It's all in the adjustment. So that you, Congratulations if you've made it this far and that you've tied a bow tie that you're happy with. Uh, if you haven't then um, go back to the start, watch it through again. The, the two most critical steps are where you, people uh, go wrong most of the time. So good luck with that and you know if you reach this stage then I just want to introduce myself. I'm Alex from um, blueeyesbowties.com. Um, my fiance makes all the, the bow ties by hand and they're all limited edition. Uh, this one was actually featured in GQ, a British GQ magazine this month. Uh, it's currently still available, but uh, as I said, all, all the, um, the bow ties at blueeyesbowties.com are limited editions. Um, so if you, want a, if you want a bow tie, then you can go there to check one out. But if you've found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe if you're, if you're into bow ties.